what's going on everybody welcome back to microsoft flight sim 2020 today we're going to be flying the pmdg 737 from uh chicago to washington so it's going to be k-o-r-d to k-i-a-d uh we are flying a real flight path today so if you want to look it up it's going to be united airlines 1936 that's united airlines 1936 this is going to be our flight path today in fact i need to click this so it shows where we are there we go um, and this, we're going to fly direct to off of runway 22 left. We're not going to be flying a departure, but we will be flying an arrival uh, into the airport. This is what our arrival is going to kind of look like on our, as we fly our um, downwind. Then we'll turn base and final. Um, but that's going to be our flight path today. Looks like the weather is going to be pretty clear between. Uh, we do have some clouds formulating on the horizon out there, as you can see. But I also haven't done anything in the airplane. So we'll jump inside and we will get our pre-flight check started. First thing we're gonna do is get our park and brake on. We'll go to the overhead panel. We'll get our battery turned on. Electric hydraulic pumps can come on and we'll get established on our ground power. With that being said, we'll come down here and make sure our landing gear is down with three green lights. Our flap lever's up, speed brake lever is up as well. And we can do our fire warning and overheat tests. So we got lights down here, got warnings up here. We'll go ahead and close out of them to extinguish the lights. And we'll go ahead and flick this to the right. All three light up. We'll go ahead and click that, turn it off. That worked out well. Go ahead and click this over, make sure our lights are working, and they are. We'll go ahead and click that back. We're good to go there. We'll go back over to the overhead panel. We'll get our wing lights turned on. We'll get these set to nav. Uh, we'll get our emergency exit lights on, our no smoking, and our seatbelt signs can come on. And we'll get our window heats turned on as well. And I believe... That is all we need to do. Pro Pete's will stay off and we're ready to start programming the plane. The first thing we'll do, we'll head into FS actions and we will go to payload. Today, our zero fuel weight is gonna be 118.4. So we'll drop that in there. We'll go ahead and hit return and we'll go to fuel. Our block fuel today is gonna to be 15864. 15,864 pounds. We'll drop that in there. We can go ahead and hit return, return FMC and we are ready to initialize our position so we'll close out of this uh k o r d we'll put that in as our reference we'll head over to gps left we'll grab that and we'll drop it in here we're gonna head, head over to route so origin we'll drop there k i a d we'll drop that in destination and our flight number again today is united airlines 1936 so we'll do UAL1936, drop that in there. We're departing runway 22 left, I think it was. Yep, 22 left. So we'll do 22L, we'll put it right here and we'll head over to the next page. All right, we have a couple waypoints we need to put in. We're not flying any, uh, any jetways, it's all direct twos. So we have a couple we need to get in here. So we'll go ahead and get started with that. So it's going to be M-O-B-L-E. It's going to be a first one. We'll drop that in there. Then we add A-D-I-M-E. Drop that in there. Uh, then we're going to O-T-E-N-S. O-T-E-N-S. From there, we're going to A-N-E-W-A. -E and we'll drop that in there. Let me move over on my other screen here so I can see the rest of the waypoints. Then we're going to J-E-R-R-I. J-E-R-R-I. We'll drop that there. We'll head over to the next page. Uh, then we're going N-U-S-M-M. N-U-S-M-M. Drop that in there. Then the last one is going to be M-G-W. And we'll put that in there. We'll head over to departure arrival. We're going to do departing. And it's going to be runway 22 left. And then we will go to departure arrival. We'll do our arrival, which is going to be runway 19 left. Uh, ILS 19 left. And it's going to be the Gibbs 4. Gibbs 4 for 19. And it's going to be the MGW transition. So we'll head over to route, activate, execute, legs. And we'll take a look at our route. Let's jump up here. We'll set this to plan mode. We'll zoom this out a little bit and we'll step through this real quick to make sure everything is lining up as it should we should have a vector up here and we do 
and right into the runway everything looks good to me we can set this back to map mode um let's get our altimeter because last flight i did i forgot until we were like halfway down the taxiway so let's get that now altimeter is two nine or nine or three so it's almost standard so we'll just move that up one notch all right and we are going up to thirty-five thousand feet today we can put this up to three five zero there we are we have a little bit of different avionics today because we are flying i guess an older version of the united airplane so the the uh just this is different the autopilot i mean there's some minor differences but primarily the autopilot but all the buttons are in the same place and everything they just look a little bit different as you could tell so we're going up to thirty-five thousand feet uh let's figure out what our runway is. 220 is going to be our runway heading or somewhere in that range we'll set that a little more precise once we are actually on the runway i think it's 220 because we're taking off runway 22 left um let's see we don't have a departure airport info i don't even know where 22 left is so here's where we are it looks like 22 left is here and it looks like it's gonna be 225 on the heading so we'll put that at 225 there we are all right we'll go to the overhead panel here and we'll set this up to 35,000 as well there we are we'll do our landing altitude and everything when we're on our arrival or you know when we start descending and everything uh let's head down here we'll go to init ref and we'll start putting this information in 350 on the cruise altitude uh, zero fuel weight was 118.4 we'll drop that in here we did 0.5 in reserve so we'll drop that here and our cost index today is going to be 44 we'll go ahead and execute that we'll go to m1 limit takeoff configuration one we'll head over to takeoff we're gonna do flaps five which will give us our trim of 5.6 v1 vr and v2 will auto generate so 5.6 on our trim let's go ahead and get that put in now And we're just about to ready to do our uh, before start checks. There we are. So that's about 5.6 right in there. All right. I think we are all set on the on here. Although I do want to put a fix in. So K I A D. We'll drop that in there. We'll do slash five. We'll do slash ten and slash 15 and we'll have everything we need on there we'll head back to legs and we can do our before start check so fmc is programmed we'll get our flight directors turned on uh right here and here flight directors are on uh auto throttle switch is off uh speeds what are our what's our takeoff speeds here 136 so set this to one whoop i'm gonna zoom in one three six there we are one three six um altitude selector is set thrust levers are idle stabilizer trim is set auto brakes can go to rto uh apu and apu bleed switches can come on so we'll get our apu started with this to start and our bleed switch can come on as well while we're waiting for that we'll come down here we'll set this to standby we'll hit a test we'll jump up here Everything's looking good up there. Waiting for our TCAS test. TCAS test pass. There we go. T TCAS test is passed. We're good. Uh, and we'll go ahead and switch this on. And we're waiting for our APU. As soon as our APU is on, we can toggle on. We'll go on our APU and do our before pushback checks. We're going to be pushing back out of here in any minute now. Let's go overhead. We'll see where our APU is. We're looking for this to stabilize around 4,000. There it is now coming down to about 4,000. And there we go. So we can go ahead and get established on our APU. 
There we are. We are now on APU. We'll get our fuel pumps turned on. We're not using our center tanks today, so we don't have to worry about that. We'll get our anti-collision lights on, and we'll jump down here, and we will terminate our ground services. So release our ground power. We'll remove our wheel chalks. Go back to legs, and that should start getting rid of everything here. And we are just about ready for start. So let's figure out again real quick where we're taxiing because I don't remember. I know it's to the right of us, I believe. I'm not sure the exact taxi path. All right, so we'll push straight back. We'll make a left on hotel and we'll take that to November, take November all the way down to the runway. All right, with that being said, we'll go ahead and switch this, switch this to the left ignition today. And uh, I think we're ready to call for our taxi or our, our pushback. So we'll go ahead and call our tug. We're going to release our parking brake and we'll set this to ground. We'll get that right engine started. We're watching N2. We're looking for between 20 and 23 on N2. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. We'll go ahead and give it fuel, and we'll get that engine up and going. Come on, we should be pushing back. There we go. All right, push back started. We'll wait for that engine to come up and stabilize. Uh, once it does, we'll get our second engine started. Beautiful airport here. There it goes. We'll get our second engine going. So again, we're looking for like 21, 22, 23 on N2. It is a hot day out there today. I'll tell you what. It's like 95 degrees. 20, 21, 22. We'll go ahead and give it fuel. There we are. We're gonna keep pushing back till we're about on that taxi line and then we'll stop our pushback. That's probably good right there. So we'll go ahead and stop that. Whoa, we jump forward. I don't know why it does that sometimes. It doesn't always do that, but when I cancel the pushback, sometimes it jumps me forward like that. Um, but we're waiting for this engine to click off, which it should any second now. We'll go ahead and go back over to the overhead panel here. Actually, while we're waiting for that, we'll get our flaps set to five there we are R2, our brakes are set to rto that's good we'll jump back up here that clicked off we can get established onto our engine generators there we are we're now on our engine generators our apu can come off our apu bleed can come off our pass can be set to auto and our isolation valve can be set to auto as well we get our probe heats turned on and our yaw damper turned on and what else do we need to do? We're not using anti-ice today. It's way too hot out there. Um, looks like everything should be good to go. We could jump down here and we'll turn this out of standby. Set it to T-A-R-A. -A. Taxi light switches can come on. One, two, and three. Taxi and runway turnoff lights. Uh, flaps are set. Flight controls. Left, right, forward, back, and rudder. We're good to go. We are ready for taxi. So we'll go ahead and release our parking brake. We'll give ourselves a little bit of throttle and full full left rudder. And let's get this taxi started. 14 minutes from gate to taxi. Not too bad. All right, there we are. So we're going to follow this taxiway uh let's see i guess straight ahead we want to get on to the november taxiway which is that taxiway so we'll take this to the left and then right and then left <laughs> we have a little bit of zigzagging here All right, so we'll go left here. And then we're gonna make a right here. And then our second left, so not this one, but the second one should be November. And we should be able to take that all the way down to 
our runway. Pretty good. Looks like it's going to be a pretty good flight. Hopefully not too much turbulence. Uh, if you guys are enjoying this, be sure to hit that like button. Uh, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It says 94% of my viewers are not subscribed. And it lets me know that you want me to keep making contact, content like this. All right, we'll give ourselves a little more throttle now that we're on this taxiway and we're gonna taxi our way all the way down to the end of the taxiway, which is going to be to the left. As you can see, this is where we are and we're gonna taxi all the way down to right here. So move that back over, give ourselves a little more throttle. Let's get ourselves moving. Now we're starting to speed up. There we go. All right, we'll set them back to idle and we'll just kind of coast here. Um, we're gonna stay in a right wing view today. That way we can kind of get an eye of the airport after takeoff. We're gonna taxi up, we'll hold short of the runway and we'll do our before takeoff checks, which are pretty simple. It's just auto throttle armed and just start switches on. Uh, we'll do a master caution system recall, transponder set to TARA, which we already did. Landing lights and strobe lights will come on, and then we will be all set for takeoff. I don't think I've done any flights in or out of Chicago, so this will be this will be one of the first. I have done them, you know, on my own, but I've never recorded one, so. Hope you guys enjoy this and then flying into Washington should be a, a pretty nice view. We're almost at the end of the runway here. We got one more right turn to cross. We're going to cross over Yankee, which is right in front of us. And then we'll be at November and we'll line up November Victor area. Give ourselves a little bit more throttle again, get ourselves moving. There we are. All right, so that's Yankee to the right. That is for runway 28 right. And we're coming up on our runway here in just a second. So this is going to be our runway. So we're going to go ahead and hold short right here. There we are. We'll put our brakes on. We'll do our before takeoff check. So first thing, auto throttle needs to come on. Uh, and just our switch is set to continuous. That's ground. We want continuous. Uh, master system recall. Master caution system recall. We are good. Transponders on. Landing lights can come on. And strobes can come on as well. All right, we'll go ahead and release our brake. We're ready to line up on the runway. So we'll go ahead and center ourselves. There we are. So you see the airport off to the right there. And we are ready for takeoff. So we'll go ahead and hit our toga button. We'll keep our nose down. We'll listen for our V speeds and our call outs. And let's get out of here. Checked. B1. Rotate. 
rotating. Positive rate of climb. Gear up. Jump into a window view. Beautiful departure so far. Let's jump back up here. Let's make sure we're staying straight. And we can bring our flaps to one. And we'll jump in a left wing view. There we are. And flaps can come. Actually, we need to nose down somewhere. And we need to start a left turn. We'll go bring our flaps all the way in. Bring our landing gear to down. We'll go V-nav, L-nav. We'll go ahead and activate the autopilot. Go back into V-nav there. All right, flaps are all the way in. Gear is all the way up. Landing gear is up. Taxi light switches can come off. And auto brakes can be set to off as well. And that is our departure. There's a window view, left side window. Beautiful departure so far. You can see our shadow down there, that's pretty neat. So we're pretty much doing a big U-turn right now. If I can pull it up on my other screen. You can kind of see we got to get to this waypoint. So we're just going to continue that left turn. Once we do complete that left turn, you might be able to see downtown Chicago off of our, off of our uh, left here. I could jump up here and see if we can see it. No, but you can see the airport out there. 5,000, 6,000 feet. We're doing good so far. We'll jump back into a wing view. Beautiful departure so far. There's the airport just off to our left, and there's the runway we just took off of. All right, we'll jump back up front here. We're coming up on our 10,000 feet mark here in a minute. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom this out a little bit more. All right, we are all good to go. Cruise checks, we'll do seatbelt signs and come off. Actually, no, climb checks, sorry. And landing lights will come off. Engine start switches will go to off. The seatbelt signs will come off as well, which we could do now. Engine start switches can come off. We can go ahead and toggle off our seatbelt signs because we are stable. And we'll get our landing lights off as well. There we are. Coming up over 10,000 feet now. I'll stay with you guys until 18,000 feet as usual, and then we'll jump in the front window view and do the time lapse. There's another wing view. You can see the coast of the Great Lake there. Downtown Chicago, I think, is up here. You know, we just we should clip in in a minute. We might be too high for it to actually generate buildings, but we are pretty close to it. Let's jump back up in the cockpit here. Looks like we nose down to gain our speeds. Everything is looking good. Our engines are looking stable. We don't have any warnings or indicators of any concern. Everything looks good to me. Beautiful. All right, coming up on 13,000 feet. I'll tell you what, man, it's hot today. I don't know where you guys live who are watching this, but we are getting some crazy intense heat across the United States right now. And it is a hot one today. Fourteen thousand five hundred. This plane flies so well. I absolutely love flying this plane. If you guys are thinking about getting the 737, I've said it in so many videos, highly recommend it. 
the A320, the Phoenix is an absolute great plane as well. Uh, I do like the 737 better. Uh, well, I mean, there's things I like about both of them, but the 737 is a lot better on frame rate and it's much smoother. Crossing over 16,700 feet now. There's another wing view. You can see we're well over the Great Lake now. Here's where we are on our chart over Lake Michigan. I'll move that back over. And we're coming up on our 18,000, which is going to be our transition altitude, uh, in which case we'll go ahead and switch into standard mode, which we could do now. There we are, switching to standard mode, which is only 299 or 3, standards 299 or 2, so we didn't have far to go. That's going to be our 18,000 feet right there. We'll go ahead and jump up in the front window view if I can. I don't know why it's... There we go. Front window view, and we'll start our time lapse here, and I will catch you guys when we're closer to our descent. I hope you guys enjoy the flight. Welcome back. We've begun our initial descent. Here is where we are on our arrival. Uh, so we're going to follow these altitude constraints all the way down. Looks like we are flying into some kind of, uh, I don't think it's a storm system, but it's definitely, well, maybe it is. Uh, definitely flying into some kind of weather out here, which I was not expecting. Uh, we do need to put some information into the plane, however, like uh, our ILS and our arrival information. So let's open up our charts. Uh, first thing I want to do is get our airport altitude, which is 313. So we can set our pressurization to 300 up here. We'll set this to 300. There we are. All right. And let's head over to our arrival runway. So 19 left. We'll go to approach and we'll look for 19 left. Here we are. Here's our localizer, our final approach course our airport elevation which we just did and our landing barometer so let's get that stuff put in now 110.1 is going to be our localizer so we'll switch that over at 110 oh, wrong one 110.1 we'll do the same thing over here 110.1 there we are we'll switch that back and our final approach course is going to be 191 so we'll get that set 191 we'll do it on both sides over here 191 there we are and our landing barometer is going to be 502 so we will spin this and get that down to 502 there we are all right last thing we need to do is get our arrival uh q and h our altimeter so i'm gonna i have another monitor here i'm gonna do that over there uh, K, 
Let's see if I can find a K-I-A-D. There we go. Looks like it's going to be two or three zero zero zero. So we don't have to do that just yet, but we will do that soon. Um, we are doing our descent checks. Also, we need to jump down here. We'll head over to Init Ref. Our landing speed is going to be 30 degrees, 133 knots plus 5 is going to be our landing. We'll make sure it reflects in here. 138, it's good. We're good to go. All right. So we are pretty much set up for our arrival at this point. Um, here's where we are on our arrival chart. So it looks like we are following our VNAV path pretty well. 22,000 we need to be between 23,000 and 17,000 here uh, so it looks like we are right on par with that and then we'll start slowing down uh, down here around 250 knots at 11,000 uh, we'll make this turn for downwind and then we'll vector ourselves base and final and get locked onto the localizer and land it looks like we are having some break in the clouds here so I don't think we're going to actually be flying into any of that crazy looking weather I think we have cleared that however another thing i want to do is take a look at the taxi chart and see which direction we need to get off so if we're landing 19 left that's over here so we're going to get off on the right and in order to do that or to make it better i'm going to switch this to a right view that way we can see the airport on arrival you see a mountain right there that's pretty neat so we'll jump back up in the cockpit here uh we're at 20,000 feet We'll just continue on down to oh that's another thing we need to set our altitude so for runway 19 left we intercept the 1700 so i'm going to set our altitude down to 1700. there we are so we'll go all the way down to 17 uh, and that's where we'll intercept the localizer i may end up leveling us off somewhere because we'll probably be below the glide slope the entire time uh, so I'll level this off so that we can intercept the glide slope a little quicker. Uh, but for now, we'll leave it down to 1700. Normally, you would get ATC vectored, and I wouldn't have to manually do that. But we're not with ATC today, so we're going to vector ourselves down to our intercept altitude. All right, everything's looking good so far. We're coming down on our transition altitude. We are cleared below it, so we'll go ahead and switch to it. We'll set this to 3000. There we are. So we have that set. Um, let's see what else we need. Landing lights we don't need on yet. Seatbelt signs will turn on shortly. Pressures and air conditioning, everything looks good. Uh, master system recall, we are all set. Transition altitude is set. We've obtained the ATIS engine start switches can be set to continuous. We'll go ahead and do that now. What did I just do? Oh, there we go. I, I think I switched them to flight by accident um and fmc is set for arrival approach next thing we're gonna do is our approach checks but we won't do that until we're a little bit lower closer to our um localizer so as of now we'll just continue on down and monitoring the plane and making sure it's doing everything it's supposed to be doing you can see the rings here uh that's the rings we set earlier the 5 10 and 15 mile markers around the airport so I'd like to be established by 15 miles on the uh, localizer, which I'm sure we will be. And we're just going to follow this right in, kind of hook around, and then vector ourselves over. So looking good so far. There's another wing view. You can see some of the mountains down there. Very beautiful looking terrain. We definitely just missed some kind of storm system. Uh, so it doesn't look like we're going to be landing in a storm. A beautiful looking terrain the mountains look awesome all right we'll jump back up to the cockpit there's another like you see all the let's move over here see all the mountains and stuff it's really cool coming down to 14,000 feet at 10,000 feet we'll switch our landing lights on pull up my chart on the other screen here there we go all right and the rest of the way is pretty much just cruise and monitor 
If you guys are enjoying these flights, uh, like I said in the beginning, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. It's the best way you can help me out. Even if you don't watch the videos every single time I post, that's fine. You don't even have to hit the bell icon. Just, to, just subscribe. <laughs> gonna be a nice approach i really like the way the scenery looks so far it's very nice scenery like i said those mountain ranges look awesome from up here and uh we're descending right by them i wonder if we turn on terrain i don't know if we'll start picking that up yet we might but i think we're still a little bit too high yeah i'm not seeing it now so oh there's a little bit I'm not sure what the range is for the terrain. You know, how far, how close to me it starts picking it up. We're coming down to 11,000. We'll go ahead and get all of our lights on for landing, our landing lights and everything below 10,000. Uh, we can go ahead and set our auto brakes. We'll do medium. Uh, decision height, set, master caution recall. We're solid. Speed brake, we can go ahead and arm that. We may need that, but if we do, we will, uh, we'll just rearm it. Flaps, landing gear, and taxi light switches is all we have left for our approach. Uh, in which we're gonna we're gonna add a little bit of drag here because we need to slow down and descend. Probably says add drag. Yeah, see drag required. As expected. Go ahead and put them back in. There we go. We are right on our VNAB path and our speeds are looking good. I say we'd be on the ground in the next 10 minutes, 15 at most, but probably not 15. Say about 10 minutes. There are 9,000 feet, 9,700. Looks like we have a constraint right here at 9,000 roughly. Um, let's see where we are on the chart here. Yeah, it wants us below 10,000 here, but above 9,000 here. So it looks like it's leveling us off at about 9,500. Well, I don't know if it's leveling us off, but it's definitely slowing our descent. Beautiful flight so far. The airport should be up here. I mean, we're not going to be able to see it from here, I don't think. Maybe in real life you might be able to, but I think it's somewhere in this area. Maybe even this over here. But we're going to hook around it. We're basically going to fly directly at it uh, in two waypoints from now. Once we start this leg right here, we'll be flying directly at the airport. Then we're going to hook around. Beautiful mountain ranges. Look at the river going along the mountain there. I like that. That's pretty nice. I'm back up here. Let's take a look out of this window. Beautiful. All right, just continuing our descent down. 
It was a really good flight. We didn't have any turbulence. Unlike our last flight, we had a lot of turbulence in our last flight, but we had no turbulence in this flight. Coming up on our 15 mile mark, obviously we're going to make that left turn and that'll kind of be irrelevant for a little while, but right outside that 15 mile mark, we will start that, uh, that right turn onto the final. Beautiful mountains. Jump back up front here. Yeah, clouds cleared right up. We were flying over a pretty nasty looking storm there for a minute. And luckily, we're not descending into that or anything. Seems to have cleared up pretty well. So we should have the runway possibly in sight shortly after this turn. I don't see anything now. We're starting to get some ground textures. I see some trees and stuff clipping in. We're at 6,500. I believe that's the airport right there. That's it. So we do have the airport in sight. We'll start our downwind shortly. We are all set for landing aside from flaps, landing gear, and taxi lights. Now, in my last video, uh, I had a buzzer screaming at me because I, I didn't have my landing gear down. And I think it was because the notch of flaps that I had set requires that I have my landing gear down at that point. But it might have been altitude, but I'm not 100% sure. If you guys want to go check, go check out that last video. Uh, where the heck did I fly? I don't even remember where I flew yesterday. <laughs> oh, Denver. I flew from Seattle to Denver. Uh, so I, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I know it has to do with one of those two. I think flaps 15, you have to have your landing gear out. I'm pretty sure. So this is gonna be our left downwind. As you can see on the screen here, we're gonna be flying downwind of the runway and airport. And at this waypoint, we'll vector ourselves manually over to here. And we should be able to get established pretty quickly from there. These buttons are so different. I'm not used to these, these different style buttons. I'll have to remember uh, to switch my United livery, you know, to the more modern instruments. Instead of using these older instruments. There's the airport off our right wing there. All right, we got about 13 nautical miles and we'll start that right turn, head over towards the runway and get locked onto our localizer and toggle our approach. And we are looking good.
crossing over our 10 mile ring in a second heading to the 15 right here you can see we got 10 nautical miles we got about a 14 knot crosswind uh two two or two seven seven our ground speed 264 We can actually go over here, switch this. That's our descent path. Yeah, right now it's just kind of sit and monitor everything. We are going to have to set up our direct to in a second. So I think what we do is we grab this and we move it to the top. I'm not going to do it now. I'm not going to execute it yet because I want to get a little bit closer. But I believe that white line indicates how that turn will go. So I want to wait until we get up here so that we have a little bit more angle on that. That way we're not just getting there and making an abrupt right turn. Man, look at the mountains out there. I don't know why I love that so much, but I do. It just looks so good. All right, we're coming up on that waypoint. About one nautical mile. We can probably go ahead and start that turn, so we'll go ahead and do that. There we are. Once we're mostly through the turn, once we start to intercept this waypoint here, we'll toggle on our localizer and start trying to get a lock on that. We'll get set flaps five uh, once we get a little bit closer. But I'd like to be flaps five by the time we hit that 15 mile ring, that outer ring we have set. We do have the localizer on screen here. Or I guess not. Now maybe that wasn't the one we're looking for. It just clipped off. All right, there we go. Now we have our localizer diamond back. So we'll go ahead and get flaps five. One, two, and three clicks. Take us to flaps five. That'll slow our speed down. I think one, what was it? One, three, eight was our target speed for landing. Speeds are coming down. We'll go ahead and toggle on our localizer. And there we go, we got locked onto it. We're gonna put this up to, I think 2,500, we should be good. Cause we do have our diamond. So we'll go down about 500 more feet and then we'll get established on our, our uh, glide slope. So we are lined up with our runway. There's our 2,500 call out. We can go ahead and get our taxi lights and runway turn off lights turned on. And all we have to do is complete our flaps and our landing gear configuration. So we're gonna hold our speed here 
Uh, we're going to hold our altitude around 2,500 until we intercept our glide slope. Then we'll, right, right when that diamond comes down a little bit more, we'll toggle on approach, get a lock on it. We'll drop our gear, complete our flaps, uh, and we'll, we'll fly it in. But about a 12 knot head headwind cro head crosswind it's more headwind than or it's more crosswind than headwind but coming from that front right direction all right so we're gonna level off right about here And we'll wait for a capture onto our glide slope. We'll, so we'll let this diamond continue dropping down towards us. And we'll get locked onto that. Airport's directly in front of us. We are lined up with the runway. And we're about 10 miles from the airport. We'll go ahead and get our gear down. And create a little bit more drag there. All right, now we're just waiting for our glide slope to come down and meet us. And then we have to fully configure our flaps and we're good to land. So there it is coming down. It's coming down pretty quick. We'll wait till it gets a little bit closer and just about touches that line and we'll toggle our approach. So right about there, we'll go ahead and toggle our approach. And we are locked on the glide slope. And we can go ahead and bring our speeds down significantly. 138 and we'll bring our flaps to full full configuration 30 percent or 30 degrees rather there we are flaps are fully configured and we are ready for our landing we're going to bring our speeds down just a little bit more. I'm going to do about 135. Go ahead and go into another wing view. Once we get a little bit closer, we'll toggle off the autopilot and we'll hand fly it down to the ground. Get my feet on the rudder pedals here. Get ourselves ready for that. There's our outer marker. One last view out of the wing. There's a golf course down there. If anybody knows what golf course that is, comment. Tell me what golf course that is. All right, we're going to jump back up into the cockpit here. We're looking good so far. We have two red, two white. We'll go ahead and toggle off the autopilot. I now have the plane. And we'll just continue on that descent path. I got my eyes right on the runway. Right where I want to touch down is where I'm looking. That's what I'm going to aim for. One, two, 
100, 50, 30, 20, 10. And we are down. We'll go ahead and bring in our reverse thrust. Let our auto brake stop us. All right, very good. And we'll go ahead and release our reverse thrust. And there we are. Welcome to Washington, D.C., I guess. K-I-A-D. Dulles, I think it's Dulles International. Oh, we're slowing down too quick. All right, we're gonna get off right here. Actually, we're still we're still rolling a little bit quick. We probably should have slowed down a little more. That's okay. All right, we're gonna get cross across this line here. There we go, and we'll hold short here. All right, we'll put our brake on. Give everybody whiplash there. And we'll do our after landing check. So landing lights can come off. Uh, all of these can be turned to off. Our strobes can go to off. Uh, taxi light switches can come on. Oh, they are on. We leave them on. <laughs> Flaps can come back to a normal position. So we'll bring them up. Our speed brake can go back. Uh, what else we got? Engine start switches can be set to off. Transponder can be set to off as well, or standby rather. Uh, and APU can be started. Let's get our APU on and our APU bleed switch on as well. All right, we'll pull over our map here. Let's go to charts. We'll go to taxi, airport info. And it looks like we are going to just take, if we can cross here and get onto Juliet, we'll take Juliet all the way down to the terminals. That's what we're going to do. We'll go ahead and release our brake. We'll give ourselves some throttle, get ourselves moving. There's the airport off the wing there. Uh, we don't want to spool them up too much. And I think we can take this right taxi line and follow it straight across Kilo and right over to Juliet and take that down to the terminals. If you guys enjoyed that flight, be sure to leave a like as always drop a comment uh i did enjoy flying this plane it's pretty much the same as the one we usually fly it's like our apu's ready uh just these autopilot buttons are a little bit different like i said so that was a little bit different i actually didn't expect that before we started the flight i didn't notice that the plane was set up like that uh and i do know that the certain effects that you can change or you know um instruments and stuff like that your lighting and all that uh, it, it goes with the livery, so I don't think I've used this livery since I've reinstalled the flight sim, uh, which is why it didn't remember my previous configuration, which is totally fine. All right, this is Juliet, so we'll take Juliet all the way down to the terminals. We'll turn left on Delta or Charlie uh, in the terminals. We'll take one of those two taxi lines down to the actual terminal, and uh, we'll get configured there and shut everything down and deboard it's a left wing view pretty good flight very smooth I definitely enjoyed that flight looks like the control tower based on our chart says yep there it is right there there's the control tower the little roadways for the maintenance crew and stuff it's a pretty nice airport scenery is very nice here pretty easy airport to fly into Washington Dulles Washington DC Virginia all right so we're gonna cross this next taxiway which is gonna be echo uh, the following one after that is gonna be Delta and that's where we're going to make our left it's gonna be on the other side of that building
So we're going to skip this one. Uh, and we're going to go on the other side of that building. All right, we'll start slowing down. This is going to be the Delta taxiway. And that's the one that we are going to take. We're going to pick one of these gates off to our left here. Uh, let's taxi up a little bit more. We'll do this gate right here. So we'll skip this one, skip that one, and we'll pull into that one right there. Let me start slowing down because we want to make that turn. It's hard to see. But we do want to start making a turn. There we go. And that's what we want right there. We're going to get our taxi lights off. I'm blinding anybody at the ramps here. We'll start slowing down. And there we go. Right about there. put our brake on there we are our apu is ready to go so we could do our parking checks parking brake is on uh we'll go overhead here we can get our seatbelt signs and everything off oh we never put our seatbelt sign back on actually uh apu generator switches can come on we're now on our apu we can do our fuel cutoff two and one we could jump down here go to menu fs actions ground services uh, we can set our chalks and request our ground power unit. Once we do have our ground power unit, we can get established on it. As soon as this blue light toggles on, which it will any second, there it goes. We go ahead and toggle that on. We're now on our ground power. We can cut off our APU. Our anti-collision lights can come on, off. We'll leave our wing lights on for now. Uh, APU bleed can come off. Isolation valve can be set to open. Packs can go back to off. We'll get our probe heats turned off. Our window heats can come off as well. Uh, we toggle our ignition back to center. The all damper can come off. Uh, fuel pumps can come off as well. And I think we are all good. That would be our turnaround state. Did that come over here? No, it didn't. All right, let's see if we can get our, our jetway over here. Oh, it went to the back door. Okay, well, interesting. It just went right through my wing. Uh, but okay, that works for me, whatever. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this flight and uh, I will catch you on the next flight.